Oh my gosh, I am on YouTube. I cannot believe this, but anyways, let me compose myself because I hear that this is where the sophisticated hard people are. <laughs> so who am I and what am I doing here? Okay, let's be serious for now. So my name is Christina and oh yeah, being on YouTube is one of those things that is quite a scary leap of faith for me. Um, is it really a leap of faith? No, it's more a walk of obedience, actually, um, for me, because, um, yeah, I was out there doing my own thing, minding my own life, good Christian girl, <laughs> um, if I do say so myself, uh, but really kind of just living a life where the Holy Spirit was not really leading the show. And in May 2022, um, I really had an encounter with God. I was just in a space in my life where circumstances happened that pushed me to seek prayer and I was seeking prayer for God to actually do something about those things and I go back on my merry way you know doing you know life as I was before being a good auntie to my niece and nephew waiting for marriage um you know working doing things you know I'm a psychotherapist I'm an assistant professor so my life is busy y'all my life is busy <laughs> um but you know in my quest for god to respond to the things that i was trusting him for and heal me from what had happened um back then in may i met with him it's almost like i had my own i mean is it fair to call it like a like a like a interruption on the road to damascus <laughs> i was on my journey um going somewhere else you know just as a good person a good christian go to church read the word you know here and there um and god just interrupted my whole life he was just like before i formed you in your mother's womb i knew you <laughs> and i chose you and you know i put my word in the inside of you uh there's a roar in the inside of you there is a word there is a burning in you that i know you have worked so hard to tame which is true. I always wanted to be this girl who's like a little nice, cute little flower, damsel in distress. But when I start speaking, ah, like sometimes, you know, this passion comes out. And God was like, that's mine. You have been using it. And it's all good, you know, uh, in other things, which has been great. Like I enjoy my lecturing role in my assistant professorship, honestly. And the students love me because I teach from a place of passion. I give everything. And that's all well and good. It's helped me in my career. But the truth of the matter is, you know, even as a therapist, but the truth of the matter is God was saying that it's time that that gift that I've put in the inside of you is used in my kingdom for the purposes that which I've created it for. And I was like, whoa, this is not what I came to the prayer mountain for. <laughs> you can imagine. But God has been just so beautiful. He started with me just unearthing and excavating every hindrance, every pattern of being thoughts, feelings, emotions, character that was not in line with his will. And to be honest with you, Matthew 6, 33 became alive in my life when it really was, because he gave me that word uh, uh, at the beginning of last year, actually January, but I didn't really do anything with it until, you know, May, where it was like, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will come. But it's amazing how when I really started with him and I started to understand him more and him revealing his father heart, revealing Jesus to me and the fellowship, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. I even forgot about the and all the other things will be added part. I forgot about what it was that originally made me go to God in prayer anyway. And it has become just about seeking him, seeking him. There has been one or two distractions, but he just keeps bringing me right back. And it's been such a beautiful journey. Has it been hard? Yes. Is it costly? Yes. There's been loads and loads of tears, loads and loads of pruning. But I am so on fire for him now that you couldn't pay me to be anywhere else. So this channel is a walk of uh, obedience, is a move in obedience. I have been on TikTok. I started off there with just <laughs> me and the Holy Spirit and loads of anxiety, but he pruned me, he worked with us, and there's about 20,000 of us there just, you know, loving on God, following him. It's not about me leading anyone. It's not about me being the influence. It's about the Holy Spirit because I learned to, as he has been teaching us on that TikTok page, and people have been saying to me, oh, what about YouTube, you know, for the longer versions of some of these 
um, preach on TikTok because it was only like just little snippets on TikTok, just like three minute videos. And I was like, oh, I'm not sure about that. YouTube is a bit more exposing. Oh. <laughs> you know, and um, at the end of last year, God really pressed it on my heart to start to speak longer messages, even on this platform and just to go after him. So that's really why I'm here. That's why I'm on YouTube. And so I will never ask anyone to please subscribe. Nah, nah, nah. All I can say is this, if the spirit of the Lord leads you here, you're in good company. We want to be people who occupy, I was about to say a small part, then the Holy Spirit just kind of, you know, said, no, not small part. We're going to be part of the army of God that speaks his word, undiluted, run after him, not for what he can do, but for who he is and be a generation of burning for God type hearts. Um, yeah, so that's all I can say. And it is my prayer, it is my desire that we burn for him, for real, for real, and love on him and love him. And it's a costly but worthy journey. So if that's you, you're hungry for more, God has been pressing it on your heart that he wants, or you want more of him, fellowship with him, then you are in good company and you can subscribe. We'll see where this journey takes us. But what I know for sure is that he is good. When you taste, you will see that he is good. And I'm excited. I hope you are too.